Hello Sensi family, I am Wick Free Scott and this is my awesome wife and business partner Alexandra Wick Free, hello guys! And what are we here today to talk to the Sensi family about Alexandra? Well, as Theo has already introduced, we are here to show you five hot tips on how to run a family business as we are of course a Sensi family business. So Mr Scott, will you kick it off for us? Okay, with the biggie? so I have got my script right in front of me, but my beautiful wife, this is what she likes to do. She likes to organize me, which I really love. But I'm going to go off script for one second before I go into that script. One of my biggest tips, okay, look at Alexander giving me that look now. This, no, is no. A, this is our family business. One of my biggest tips, and something me and Alexandra have learned over the last 15 years of working together. We've been in Sensi 10 years, but we've actually been working together for about 14 years, I think. Uh, yeah. Is, you've got to respect each other, Okay. One of the best things I love about Alexandra, and I've seen this in other partnerships, is where somebody has a leading role and somebody doesn't, okay? The role in this business is 50-50. We are equal. We respect each other. Yes. She is no boss babe or the boss babe of the business, and I'm no boss man of the business. No. Nope. I do not make decisions without consulting my business partner, and Alexandra doesn't make any decisions without Gasol and her business partner. We might not always agree, but one of my biggest tips, if you want to work with your partner, is to have that mutual respect. Yes. We love our Sensi business, and it's given us the opportunity to build a business of freedom. Yes. Okay? But Alexandra hasn't retired me, and I haven't retired Alexandra. No. We have worked <laughs> together. I, see, and that is something, I hate that saying within this organization, not organization, in this, you know, industry. Retire your husband. No, we work hard, work hard with your husband, have mutual respect, and that is probably one of our biggest strengths. And I'd just yeah, like to say a big thank you to my business partner, life partner, for, you know, <laughs> always that? having that. So anyway, my first tip is, is you have got to play to your strengths. Yes. Okay, now, some things, there are some jobs out there which I am not good at, okay? There's some jobs out there not many, <laughs> that Alexandra is not good at. Oh, thanks. However, there are some jobs out there that I am good at, Alexandra might not be too good at. Mm. There's also some good jobs out there that Alexandra's really good at, and I'm not really good at. And what we tried to do in the past, we tried to cross over with these jobs, and they have not worked, yeah? We've trod on each other's toes, and we've probably not progressed, okay? And these are, we are giving you tips and experience that we have learned as working yeah. as a couple. So my first biggest tip, if you are working a family business, is to play to your strengths and continue to become stronger at your strength. While I focus on my strengths, Alexander works on her strengths, and we work on being stronger at those strengths, we ain't trying to learn a new skill which we need to learn by crossing over. So the first biggest tip, if you are working as a family, is to play to your own strengths. Know your strengths, don't be shy, don't be underconfident to share your weaknesses, okay? And make sure you play to those strengths. So, and have you got anything to add to that? I want to add to that, if you don't know your strengths, because I'm often one, I, I do SWOT analysis and things like that, you know, because I am a trained business graduate. I was the one that went to school and Mr. Scott's the one that didn't Slide really go school. to school. Um, and yet, he is so intelligent in so many things. So. You know, I don't know my strengths very well, but Mr. Scott is always happy to point out the things I do well. Yes, he tells me the things I do badly, but he, as my business partner, will say, why don't you just stick to doing that? Because you do it so well. So I agree with Mr. Scott. Stick to your strengths. You will save arguments. You will save time and you will make your business stronger. We are in a business where sometimes Mr. Scott will step forward and I will take a step back because I am a sorting things out and techie person and he is a peoply person. And so we have to play to those strengths. And if we didn't, our business would not have progressed as far as it has, but it took a lot of time and learning. So I'm gonna move on to number two. Involve your children. Yay. Yay. Now, many of you will have seen Thea Wickfree on our Instagram. Uh, the Wick Freeze, and many other places. And you will have known her since she was in my belly because 
This is the Sensi family business and she is very, very involved. So get your children involved at the beginning when they're teeny tiny or maybe you just start the business and you've got little people, they can just play with the testers. Thea learned to count playing with the testers. She learned her colors with the testers and she made cute videos and joined in with stuff doing all these things. As they grow older and if you have older children, let them see you working. Don't have an office away from everything or cut them out of listening into conversations or seeing you do things. And if they come up and ask, say, oh, no, no, I'm just working, you know, haven't got time. Tell them what you are up to or expose them to what you are doing. Children are sponges. Our daughter is so confident. I'm not a braggy parent, but she is so confident and so incredibly outgoing and focused on success because she has been around us and we have involved her in our business. A couple of other things I'll add in. Use children for reviews. Let them come in on your reviews. Social media and images and video is so much about how we get our products in front of other people. Allow your children to be part of that. Thea helps me to create trust with potential customers. She is right there up front and center doing all our Disney reviews. If you check out at the Wick Freeze on our Instagram, you will see her in action. And goodness me, she does a better job than both of us. You see, we play to our strengths and she plays to hers as well. And it creates trust with customers because you can't be that much of a bad guy if you have your cute kids front and center. And you expose them to the social medias as much as they are happy and you are happy, but involving your children isn't a bad thing. What do you think? To be quite honest, I'm gonna to go totally off while I'm just talking about more about products, but I'm gonna talk about, you are building a freedom business and a family legacy. Yeah, that is what you built. And I remember when we first started, because there might be, a, there will be a lot of consultants, new consultants watching this. You have the opportunity to build a family legacy where I see Sensi of like, you know, like maybe not in the USA, you know, you, people in the UK will not talk about, you know, the butchers of 1908 and it goes through the father, it goes through the son, the other son and the farmers get and passed the on. And the daughter, and the daughter, <laughs> and the daughter. Yeah, this is what you have got, guys. This is the modern legacy business mm. and i don't think people are going to quite see that until another 10 20 years True. see these direct sales businesses being passed on through the family so why not involve your daughter in your let or your son in the legacy business you are building yeah because you never know in 20 years time they might want to run with your business keeping up with the kids bringing a modern feel with it so always make sure you're involving your kids next up this is a big one, okay? Big tip time. This can be hard. Work time is, when it's game time, it's game time. You know, I, when I'm playing, a, when I'm, I call my work time game time. Okay, so when it's game time, it's game time. When it's family time, it is family time. Yeah. Yeah, but your kids are going to learn to respect that, and your wife or your husband are going to learn to respect that when you're working, you are working. Yeah. But then you've got to realize, why are you working? Now, I'm working our, we've been working our business because we want to, our, our main purpose in our business was to build our own freedom lifestyle now to have other people have that freedom lifestyle. Yeah. What is freedom lifestyle if I'm working or on my telephone? That is my favorite. Are you doing this in family time? I'm just checking an order. No. I'm just checking, I'm just Guilty. meeting a potential recruit. I'm just booking a party. Yeah, it's, it's Sunday at 10 p.m. Just, just checking my Instagram. Just checking my Instagram. Just checking my email. That's is not right if you're building a family business, okay? You're passionate about this. I'm right? really passionate about it because I'm always telling Alexandra this, okay? Yeah. So, work, and this is not my time to go, hey, this is what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> work time is work time, okay? Yeah. Game time is game time. And when you're having game time, you've got to go, you've got to be having income generating activities because you're taking yourself away from your family. So if you're taking yourself away from your family, you can't be faffing around on Facebook, all these Facebook chats or all these Facebook groups. It's got to be game time on income generating activities. But when it's family time, it is family time. Your family deserve your time. And I think it was Orville who once told us this. I think it was. You might, you'll never get balance in your business. He did. It was one of his talks. You'll never get balance in your business. No. 
but you can always try your best to balance up your business. I think that's what he said. Yep. Okay, you'll never get the perfect life balance in your business, but it's always in, it's always important to make sure when it's family time, it is family time. So switch that phone off. That potential recruit ain't gonna run off and join anybody else. If they do, they're not right for your team. That yeah. customer ain't gonna find another consultant. If they do, they're not the right customer for you. Okay, but, so yeah. add, you add your spin to that. I'm gonna say, but your children and your spouse will resent your business if you cannot respect and value and give all of yourself and be present when it's family time. And I think the best advice I had, and I'm still working at it, um, we both are, um, is when it's work time, it's okay if the little people or a spouse comes along, partner, or friends come along, it's okay to say, do you know what, right now is work time, and in an hour, two hours, or whenever, I'm going to be available, and I promise, then we will have some quality time on my phone, will be down, but if you want that to work, and if you want them to respect you and give you that peace, you must put that phone down, and if necessary, turn it off, don't just put it on silent, put it away, have no distractions, oh. not even these things, this is my new latest thing, where it distracts me Instead on Instead of doing this, now we're doing this. It's on sleep time, but what when I, it's family But can time. I also add something, one last thing before we go to the next one, is, yes, it's family time, but when you put your technology down, your create, creativity, will go up a few games and your business will actually improve. When you take a step away from your business, that is when new ideas are coming in. If you're forever doing this all day, morning, noon and night, you're, you're not going to get crazy. Can we get that? Okay. Very tired and very blunt. It's true. So my next one is a really, really simple one. We're talking about how to have a family business and we've talked about playing to your strengths. We talked about involving your children in your business and we've talked about respecting work time and family time or play time. Now, how do we bring our families into our businesses? Because we do want our children to be involved, but also our significant others if we have them. And often I will be asked, you know, how can I get my husband to be interested in my business? Well, number one, here's an idea. When you get that cash that you've been working so hard for, treat them. Have a date night. This is a little, this is like... I'm waiting for my treat still, guys. 4.A. He's had lots of treats. But, you know, take them out and treat them as much as you buy children ice cream and things like that. Take out the hubby. Buy him something. One of the best stories I ever heard, and this is an extra for you, is the woman that bought her husband this fancy sound system. And every time he played it and every time he looked at it, he knew that that came from her sensey business. And my God, is he now invested in it. And before you go to that, can I just add one thing to that about the husband? We're going right off as usual. People will always, like people have compared themselves. Why is my husband not like Scott and fully involved? That's because Scott wants to be fully involved. Yeah. Sometimes your husband might not want to be fully involved, but that does not mean they do not pay a real important role. So if they are cooking dinner, they are looking after the kids, that is phenomenal support from your husband. Oh, yeah. So always remember that. They don't have or to be... Wife. Or wife. They don't have to be actively involved, selling wax, selling warmers, recruiting people, doing coaching calls. No. If they're just showing support by giving you that time, you've got an incredible partner who's helping and supporting you. Or just not even putting it down. That's a, that's a big one. And if you're not in that situation, don't worry. Just try to treat them and try and... Get Bring them, on them an in, trip. yeah. Get them on an incentive trip. That's always a winner. But let me get back to number four because we diverted there. But it's all good, solid information from ten years of being in Sensi. Info. Get your family and your business by sticking them on your branding. Whoa, oh, why about the wow, Alexandra we, needs to update her branding. That's like from five years I, ago. <laughs> Sister Scott's completely out with me. No, this is Steve from a distance. But you get the idea, don't you? Is that we have Thea on our branding. I'll get you back for that later. But we have... Even though she was two. <laughs> three. She's now seven. Three. <laughs> really? <laughs> so we have the same images on all of our branding and our new stuff. Our website is much more up to date. But have them on your images. Don't be shy to bring them forward and have group shots of you. You're telling the story of why you were in Sensi, because remember, our story is a very important part of getting the sales and definitely building a team. 
and you're also creating trust in yourself because you you know you look trustworthy because you know oh they have a family and children and they're raising them they must be good people because that's how people think another thing that we did and it was completely by accident but we have to thank Jen Order and Orville for this one is you could always brand yourself as a family business with a family sensey name with a wick freeze now some of you are going to be really sad to learn that that's not our official surname in the real world if it was my goodness me wouldn't we have fallen on our feet with sensi but it was uh, a joke that stuck thanks to jen and orville and it has very much helped us to brand our business so of course when thea came along she became thea wickfrey and you know what these things you can do as well and as i've already said we have the license into wickfrey though we do yes i think that's us now Only i think kidding. you'll agree um, no 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 yeah no yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get back to that. Um, include them in on videos, either just in the background and just showing you having fun with them. You know, that thing that you're working really hard so you can have financial freedom and be with your family. Show that or involve them in your reviews. Have them talk about the products, take pictures with them or the hubby. He's done fragrance reviews and everything else. I know Thea I kicks his bum at all of this now. She is my right hand woman. And an added benefit of that, I will say, building the family business is when Thea and I are doing reviews, that's our time. That's like mummy Thea special time. And we have an absolute blast. So in Roundup, what is tip number five? Tip number five, I cannot read Alexandra's writing <laughs> because we have, I have my script here because Alexandra is very organized me here. I am. Disagree about look. You're gonna have to. It's how handwriting. do you really, Mister Scott? Her, her handwriting is really bad. How Damn do it. we not have a disagreement in work and take it to our family life? Now Scott and I work together and have done for 14 years, and we actually spent. We actually got married after about 13 and a half of those. So you know what? We've managed to find that balance of being together and not killing each other. But how do we do it? How do we manage to still disagree vehemently about work sometimes and not not what? split up? See, I listen to many. I'm always like observing. I'm always quiet when I'm around other people, but I'm always watching. And I always watch couples where one of them's got to be right and the other one's wrong and they shove them in a box and stuff like One of our greatest skills we have learned, I feel... Okay, Alexander would have been used to that. You know, I'm just being honest there. I'm very stubborn, very one trap minded, but I'm coachable. <laughs> yeah, I come from a sporting background. I'm coachable. Yeah, I am really coachable. I will listen, but I am stubborn, and I've learned to release that stubbornness. But Alexander would be stubborn, and it would be her way or the highway. Really, never. And then I would watch it go, well, I did tell you. I did tell you. And one thing we've learned, I think, is. I want to get the best out of my business partner, my wife. I want to get the best out of my wife because I want to see my wife achieve her full potential. I also want to get the best out of my business partner because I want our business to be the best it can be. Okay? So a skill I've noticed, like, and Alexander can give me a fire back the criticism to me because I'm, it doesn't bother me. Because it's one, work time now. One thing Alexandra has learned is, and she's still learning, is to not take things personal. If I was yeah. forever telling her, I tell Alexandra how great she is, as she said at the beginning, uh, her strengths. If I was telling Alexandra how great she was constantly, she would not grow as a person and our business would not grow. Yeah. So as much as I'm her biggest cheerleader, I'm also her biggest critic. And as a business partner, as in Alexandra, what am I personally looking for? I'm not looking for someone to pat me on the head and tell me how great I am. I'm looking for someone for someone to tell me where I'm going wrong and where I can improve, improve for my personal business and for, my, for myself. And that is a skill I would say we've kind of mastered over the last I few years. I think you've learned, um, yeah, I've had to learn not to take it all personally. And, you know, hormones play a role. Um, you know, for the ladies out there, I think hormones can play a role. I mean, sometimes can take things very personally. And sometimes he will say, this is one thing you'll say, can I give you coaching? And sometimes I'm like, no. And when I say no, I mean no. I mean like respect it. Now is not the time to talk to me about something 
that you feel that I have done wrong or something else. And most of the time we'll respect that because if he doesn't, I'm gonna go out and slam the door. But that is work time. And I guess we delineate work time and family time and therefore not taking our rows into the house because we work and live in our workplace, which can be difficult. And we work together and live together 24 seven. My God, most people couldn't make it through COVID doing that. So we've made it a long years. But so what you're saying your biggest tip is don't take things personal. Don't take things personal, but also we have a time limit on when work ends and that's when we pick Thea up and for us that's fantastic because on the ride down if there's anything left over from work we'll talk it through argue it through sulk it through but when she gets in the car we are not continuing it on because it's her time because it's family time and because that's just not what we do and yes it's taken a lot of years to get to that can point I just tell you something? but you can get there I think you've improved a lot more work time. You, wow. frustrate, you frustrate me a lot more personal time now. <laughs> she likes really? to I, I'm not into dithering. I'm not into dithering. I don't do dither. Faff and dither, I just don't do. I always, I'm just like a butterfly like this. Oh, I'm doing that. I oh, know. Afterwards, my God. it's still work time. I'm just going to deal with Mr. Scott. No way. No one. way. So th don't um, don't take things personally. No, don't. Fire critic of me. It's fine. I don't care. I'm coachable. Don't, don't take things personally, and. If in the end you end up playing to your strengths, and I think those were what our largest rows were ever about, learn what your big rows are about and try and get to the root cause of them when you're both way more chilled out. And at that point, you'll be able to work it out. And, you know, work is work and you're not working this business so that one day you'll end up divorcing because you hate each other. You're working this business so you can actually hang out with your best pal if you're lucky enough to work together and really have a true family business. And I think that's it. It probably comes down to the little add-on we ended at the beginning. Respect each other. Respect each There's no boss. Like People always give us comments like, I'm just the boss. Scott's the boss. And I always go, yeah. no, no, we're, we're an equal partnership. And some people have that insecurity where they have to be the boss. Yeah, I've watched it. They have to be the family in charge. It's a, it, I'm in charge of the family. But when you have a 50-50 business and you respect that partnership and you respect and you praise what they do, the, their contribution to yeah, the business, of praise. Um, <laughs> then that is how you kind of really get a good family. You've got to have mutual respect for each other. Yeah. And you've got to make each other feel valued. I think that's the biggest one. Making each other that's feel valued. That's one we've been learning recently, isn't it? Make, make it Letting each other know yeah. that we really value each other. And, you, you know, we talked about that. And I really value you. You think, oh, my God, that comes after that talk. But we really do value each other. So <laughs> no, that is kind of our biggest tip from this whole thing is make sure you have mutual respect. You value each other. Yeah, you're going to get some steam in your ears. Get it off your chest. Don't hold it in. Yeah, get it off your chest. Yeah. Have that row. Redhead. Have that disagreement. Say, say Scott, you're right, and then everything's better. That's kind of how it works. Because you have to remember, it's only wax and warmers. It's only wax and warmers. <laughs> it's not rocket science. No. Nope. You know, you sell products, you share the opportunity, you teach others to do the same, and it's not rocket science. So we will say adios. Hasta luego. And... Um, if you want to come and see how we have created a family business and the things we do in order to involve Thea in a fun way, then you can check us out on Instagram at The Wick Freeze. And we will say, I will say, hasta luego. And thank you so much for listening. I hope it helped. Yeah, and I wish you all the success in your awesome business. Remember, this is an awesome opportunity and you have the opportunity to build your legacy business with your family. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.